Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. I don't feel so super. Max! You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Shoot the bitch. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. Perfect. Ugh. Powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing Girl. exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? That's me, dude. Like, listen for her. Like, what, what do you know? Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Dude, it was so cute! Man! That man. Me and one of the homies had a superpower. It'd be just as dope. Except, I know we know how to run. We definitely would know how to run. Enter the vortex. You know, I never talked to the one girl. I have a little time I don't think Mr. it would have mattered. Class, so, I can do some wandering. Oh. Uh, so, are you going to that vortex? Bitch. Join us, or die. Courtney will do anything for Victoria and the Vortex Club. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No fo- I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Ah! Courtney is kind of cute when she's... She could actually be a decent no, person. It's just that bitch Victoria. Sir. He jamming. What does that sound? Can we go back in the bathroom? No. I'm going to find out what happened to you, Rachel. Zachary, I don't give a fuck about Zachary. Fuck that bitch. Oh, David. If only I knew what David Madsen was- Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. 
If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You best not bother chatting me up now. He doesn't seem like a super bad guy, but it's just like... What's up, Warren? I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Luke is always Luke. using the phone as a shield to avoid people. I, saw Victoria and her I do that sometimes, to too. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. He got a hunchback, man. But I know Juliet's pretty cool. These must be decent. There's Brooke, her jealous ass. There's <laughs> Mr. Wizard, hard at work. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide. Dr. Max? I have Sodium. a vision. Godium. Godium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Godium. That's just gonna explode. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Maxwell? I feel like there's Ask an answer somewhere. I have to add either. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your I fate, feel like but potassium can make him fucking go explode his face off. Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works. Go potassium sounds a lot better. You get a free hug. <laughs> Weird science. Well, let me. Hi, Miss Grant. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for what taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. Yeah, we did it. We did it. <laughs> um, I'm just photos. thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer. But he's made Excuse a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Go on, Max. I love Miss Grant. Go on. I love it. Um, sorry, blanket.
I forgot about science class, man. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? Maxwell, so asking me. Have that either. Lots of potassium. Lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See, look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's We're do this. Oh my, thing. that's so messed up. That's so messed up. She blinded me with science. He's in love. <laughs> she blinded me with science. He's such a cute nerd. Like, oh my, Warren. If you pop a question, I'll marry hey, you. Warren. I don't give a fuck. Are you? Maxwell Silver That's Hammer. That's a real man. Perfect you don't have timing. to be all about that jock shit. I need you help stood with this up for me. Experiment. You're interested in me. Asking you're me for you, help you got drive. You want to do something a bit with of your life. That's attractive. That is decide, attractive, Dr. Warren. Matt. Wrong, Warren. Warren. You need to add chlorine, not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? <laughs> I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. Shut the fuck up, you jealous bitch. He's so cute with his little black eye! Oh. <laughs> That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. Check out yeah, the big is. brain on Max. You might be the next Heisenberg of Blackwell. Um, she's so fucking jealous. Uh, again we meet, Brooke. This is true, Max. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. I don't... I guess we can see what happens if we ask her something else. Not me. Warren doesn't need my help. The boy knows things. It's just like, it's a lose-lose. I like being my nature though. She can get jealous all she fucking wants. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. What a bitch! Like, oh Bring my me the god. Brain, Hey, oh, Warren. No. Bring me her. Are you okay? <laughs> Chlorine. Chlorine? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Eureka! Really She's got it. No, you got it. I thought I was gonna get a hug. Fuck. That sucks. I kinda wanted one. I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else. Got it. Well, so you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. 
my number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Oh, he's being a fucking Yes, bitch. I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? He's already acting fucking suspicious. We can't tell him shit. Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. I don't think I should talk about. Mm -hmm. Sure, okay. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, I know. That makes sense. Huh? Mm -mm. Seriously, I have to hang up now. Let's talk about this later. We'll talk. I have to go. Because I can't have this conversation with you right now, okay? Would you please just hang up the phone? Meet me in the club. It's going down. I hear him talking shit. That girl has walked through like at least three times. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's on repeat now. Stella! It's so really smart to stay out of all the drama. Both. Both. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. Can I take a picture of How Dana? do I look, Taylor? You look like ass. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson. Like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. <sighs> I'd say they'd make a cute couple, but honestly, they look like they could be real. Alyssa really lives for her classes. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Oh, let's could take a photo. I guess I gotta talk to these dickheads. Maybe I can go like, yo, they're sitting at my desk. They're starting trouble. Yes. Hmm? Fuck. So it's not- he's not talking to Nathan. He's talking about someone else. But it must be about that shit. Even if Victoria ignores me, I'm glad we talked yesterday. I should have told the principal about Nathan and the gun just for life insurance. They're all flirting and shit. Disgusting. Here comes the mysterious hey, Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here, you really nailed me. Meow! Bring out the claws! I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha! <laughs> Assholes.
He still has his fucking claw marks on his cheek. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. No, I wish we can get up. What's the point of sitting here? Warren, hey. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today. That's kind of so mean. little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's Shut the fuck up, you it. bitch. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiro Skiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. See that? Is this for real? Pitch flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. They're so fucking horrible. It's just like that's a fucking human life. Who is that up there? Kate! <gasps> no! She can't die. She can't. Rewind again and again. Fucking like Nathan Prescott. Keep These people are so fucking horrible. Going, Max. You can do it.
you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help, like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No! Nobody cares about me! Nobody! Kate, this will crush your father. You think he cares about a video? He loves you unconditionally. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. Sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Oh. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. This has nothing to fucking do with Blackwell. Of that course, was you're all quite me, a bitch. hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah. Real hero. Shut As the fuck up, Sergeant Dickhead. As principal of Blackwell Dickhead. Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen. As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson? Why is Nathan in here? I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through. But Kate 
has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Dude, I know David did bully her, but s Nathan dosed her. We don't have proof, though, so we can't say that. Jefferson made her cry, but that's not it. She went to help, and she didn't get it. That was the final. It started off with Nathan. It got pushed on by David, and then the finalization was Jefferson. The only thing I can really do right now, I feel like, is the best thing to do is either say Nathan dosed her or David bullied her. I want to go with the truth, but I don't have any proof of it. And then Mr. Jefferson, I know they're both in on it, so what the fuck am I supposed to do? Because he's just going to defend Nathan because I don't have proof. And it's just like, am I lying? Would she really kill herself if that time of fuck shit didn't happen? Nathan fucking dosed her, bitch! All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? I was afraid yesterday, but I have to tell the truth. I do understand that. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Well, we told everything we believe in, so we might as well sign this statement. We told him the truth, and we told him what we saw. Well, I and think we know evidence. less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. He says, see you in court. Fucking rich ass bitch. I wish... I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me, I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Lauren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, 
But I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I got my hug. Yes, I, I got my hug. I believe anything this week. But it's because we keep changing fate. So we're fucking. and a string you don't understand the pain it brings you don't ever want to give me wings you don't ever want to set me free you know i'm addicted to you and it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo got me coming back for more even when i've been screwed dolls full of pins pierce my heart straight through i got issues in my head i like you in my bed but you keep me on red oh Everything is like a test. I better not text or I'll come off desperate. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something out of my Dead. Will you regret everything that you did, that you said? I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you, I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me? Is it me? Am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you, I knew this When I'm with you, I feel so useless I feel diluted, my heart's been wounded Silhouettes of you are like a dawn Never really know just what you want with you, I don't ever feel calm. I can feel the sweat inside my palm. Play with me like cats and a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever want to give me wings. You don't ever want to set me free. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something. Okay.